Hey guys, I'm Haley. Welcome back to Wednesdays on the Explicit 7. <laughs> so I know what you're thinking, Haley. What the fuck are you doing here? You're not Wednesdays. Me and Alana switched days this week because she's really busy with school. Love you, girl. And if I'm talking a little quiet, it's because my parents are in the living room right there. My parents, like, the, the walls are really thin and I cuss a lot and I don't want them to hear me. This week is weird dreams, nightmares type things. And I have so fucking many that I'm going to be making more videos about these on my main channel. Check out my main channel in the description. Tonight I thought that I would talk about, honestly, kind of a scary dream. It's creepy as fuck, so if you're about to go to bed, watch this when you wake up in the morning. I don't know. If you've ever watched the movie The Conjuring, I really like that movie. I think it's really good. I've seen it about four, four times, maybe more than four times. Um, I haven't seen the second one though, so I definitely need to get on watching that. But in the movie, you know the scene where like the witch or the lady girl, whatever, is hanging from the tree? Yeah, that scarred me. I don't know why, but like at the time I was like scared obviously when things popped out and stuff, but at the end of the movie I was like, oh, that was scary, but like cool, like we're undone now. It didn't scare me then, but obviously when I started dreaming, like obviously it came into play and scared the shit out of me. The people who are in this dream, I'm not friends with anymore. Um, I'm gonna give them fake names. Tammy and Tamika. Tammy and Tamika was the... No, Tammy and Tamika were like my best friends and they were in this dream. I don't know how long this water bottle has been in my room, but it tastes like it's been in here for a really long time. The three of us, me my, me, and my two friends, were just hanging out in my room, just like we used to. I remember this dream so vividly, and actually, fun fact, I used to have this dream, I don't have this dream anymore, but I used to have this dream so much, like almost every single night, and it was like really freaking me out, like really scary, and I also have dreams a lot where I get stabbed. Whenever that I'm stabbing other people, it's always that I always end up getting stabbed, and like it's weird because like a dream could be going really, really good, and then I think like, oh, that's it, I'll wake up, and nope, I always get stabbed at the end. I also lucid dreamed the other night, but I'll add that to the end of the video anyways. I was just hanging in my room, and I heard a dog barking. I had three dogs at the time, but I have two dogs now, but that wouldn't have been weird to hear a dog barking, you know what I mean? Because my dogs bark at literally everything. They bark all the freaking time. It's so annoying. It didn't sound like it was coming from my house. It sounded like it was coming from the driveway, so I went out to her garage. I opened the garage door and I looked on my driveway, and I saw a little puppy like whining and crying and like whimpering and barking whatever on our driveway so i like went over because i'm a dog person i fucking love dogs i will be there for a dog so i wanted to make sure the dog was okay duh so i went over the dog and i started petting him he was really cute he was like licking my hands i just said he she i don't know what the what the gender was and then i put my hand down like okay this is the ground right here oh, my knees my hands you like my smurf pants okay so i put my hand down right here like to lean on it while i was petting the dog Nice demonstration, Haley. I lifted this hand up that was on the ground. Like I said, yes, I know this was like a very vivid dream, especially since I had it so many times. Um, and it was the same exact thing every single time. Same exact thing. Nothing had changed. Um, but I lifted up this hand that was on the gr on the driveway or whatever, and I lifted up and looked at it, and it was covered in blood. Bitch. So obviously I freaked out um, and then I, I obviously I thought it was like coming from the dog. I thought the dog was hurt or something. So I looked at the dog and the dog was fine. The dog was still licking my hand and stuff but like there was blood like emerging all the huge puddle underneath the dog. And then I realized that blood was dripping onto the dog. The stream is so gross and so scary. But there was blood dripping on top of the dog so obviously it wasn't coming from the dog. And I remember this like it actually happened. Like I actually did it. Like I remember like looking at the dog and then like being scared to look up and like slowly looking up, you know what I mean? I don't know. And above me, this is so, I've never, I've only told a few people about this and then like, but I've never put this on the internet or anything. I looked up and there was bodies hanging above me and obviously I screamed, I was freaking out. Um, there was many like covering the sky, covering like Every, like, as far as I could see, there was, like, bodies everywhere, like, just hanging from, like, nowhere. Because obviously there wasn't, like, that many trees, so, like, you know what I mean? But just, like, hanging, and it was so creepy and so scary. And that's not even the worst part. While I'm screaming, my friends walk out, and they don't run out, like, being like, oh my god, are you okay? They run out being like, oh, there's a dog on the driveway. Like, oh, it's so cute. And they run over and start petting it. And I'm screaming with my hands, like, covered in blood. And I'm screaming, standing there, and they don't acknowledge me 
like they don't acknowledge me at all and they are just like really into this dog and like petting this dog i'm just sitting there screaming with blood on my hands like looking at the bodies around me i always wake up like not screaming i've never woken up like screaming um but i wake up from me like freaking out or the dream ends or something i don't know yeah th that's pretty much it that happened in the dream it's a really scary ass dream and hopefully i don't start getting them again because that was awful when i got them it was so weird that i kept getting them because it was like the same thing so sometimes i get dreams and it's like the same thing but like things change throughout it like things are different so it feels like a different dream but like it's the same like scenario but this is like the exact same every single time and it's so gross and it's so scary and i hate it so much my parents are being so loud in the kitchen can you can, can you respect me? Be quiet. So, um, I mentioned that I did lucid dreaming. This is like really quick. But the other night, I, if you didn't know, my dog Nala passed away um, a few weeks ago. Rest in peace, baby. I love you. I think I've gotten to the point where like I can talk about it without bawling my eyes out. And it's still, ooh, I don't want to talk about it too much because I will start crying because it's still like fresh. I don't know. It still makes me sad. But, and my camera's on red, so let's speed this up. Okay. I was dreaming and my dog Nala was in the dream. And I remember saying in the dream, I know this is a dream, I know I'm dreaming, but I just need to spend as much time with my dog as I can. And I remember like the whole dream, I was just like playing with her and cuddling with her and giving her food and it was very fun. But yeah, I lucid dreamed because I knew that I was dreaming and I could control it. So that was really fun and I'm really glad that I experienced lucid dreaming with my dog Nala. So like it felt like I was with her again and now I'm going to start crying again. Okay, I'm going to... Composure. Let's be happy. It's okay. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to The Explicit 7. Subscribe to my channel and make sure to check out, well, all of us. But make sure, don't forget to come back on Fridays and check out Elena. Um, next week, I'll be back on Friday. She'll be back on Wednesdays. But, I mean, it's hump day, so... There you go. I will talk to you guys next Friday and every other day on my main channel. Goodbye.